what peace did NATO take to Libya? Look at what you did to Libya. To date, because you are going after one man, you destroy the whole country. So, if it brought peace uh, in, in Norway, it has not brought peace in Africa. And our experience with NATO is not what you have experienced. And therefore, uh, we, we respectfully disagree with that. This thing of uh, territorial threats, we know them here. We've got an army base here in Botswana. What is America doing here in Botswana? Why is Africa not in American borders? What do you call that? And you, you, you come and say imperialism and colonialism is finished. When people expand their territorial expansion through uh, putting military bases at our borders. There's a, a military base here. A study has been conducted that a fighter jet that moves from that army base to the Union building will not take less than two minutes to bomb the Union building. If a war is declared with America, America does not have to assemble any resource from Washington or anywhere else to come here. They are already here. What do you call that? It's democracy. It's free world. We must celebrate that and say, no, imperialism is no longer there. It's in our head. We understand what Putin is fighting against because we have it here. Here. What is it doing here? We never went to Asia. We never went to Europe. We never went to America. We are here. We don't establish bases anywhere. Why should you establish bases in military bases in our continent? And when we speak, it's called uh, uh, old-fashioned politics. That they are out of fashion. There's no such a thing as imperialism. When imperialism is breathing on our neck, yeah. We're not going to allow that. We are going to expose that American military base here all the time in the platforms we get and educate our people that this is exactly what Putin is fighting against. America will not allow that. That Russia must go and establish a military base in Cuba with missiles facing the USA. They won't allow that. So we must not be allowed, we must not be asked to accept the things that you will not accept uh, if they were to happen in your countries. And that's what uh, uh, we are talking about when we speak about NATO and peace not going together. The African continent, can you imagine the minerals of DRC combined with the minerals of South Africa and with a new currency based on the minerals? <coughs> what we can do to the dollar if we become a united state of africa with our minerals alone we can collapse the dollar we can collapse the strong pound that is based on gold yet they don't have a gold mine mm -hmm. so why do you allow such things you know i was charged by the anc for saying botswana has got an american base mm -hmm. and poses a threat to south africa Mbalula repeated it a few days ago. Mm. Mbalula said Botswana is a threat with an American base. He's not charged. But I was charged for that. And uh, that one didn't want me for that. So Botswana, which is a country, let's just put the map so people can see where Botswana is. Botswana is within South African borders. Botswana is a different country from South Africa. But Botswana holds a USA military base which is not necessarily nice for South Africans that are cooperating right now with the Russians. Do you understand? Let's continue. Because I said we need to remove the government of Botswana through the people of Botswana and put a government that will dismantle that base, which is putting a threat on the whole of SADC. Because a research was conducted, the landing strip that is there in the army base of Botswana, they say it can land a fighter jet which can take less than two minutes mm. if it wants to hit the Union building. Mm. So if America says we're fighting South Africa, it doesn't have to send anything from Washington. They are here already. Mm. And that's what Putin doesn't want in Ukraine. They want to do what they did here in Botswana, in Ukraine. We allowed it. And our position as the EFF is that 
That army base must be removed. On a South African passport, there are two languages. If many of you remember, there's English and French. My question is, what is French still doing on that passport? Okay, and what he's saying here, that's exactly what the Russians were avoiding with Ukraine. The fact that there are so many military bases of the United States. And because Ukraine has been rapproaching itself, coming closer to NATO, it would have become a threat to the Russian people. Having, you know, a U.S. base in Ukraine or something very similar to Ukraine, that means it's going to be very quick, you know, to reach to Russia. Very, very quick. Basically, they said if they launch a missile from Ukraine to Moscow, it's going to take just five minutes. You know, it was very fast missiles. And that's the very same case he's mentioning about Botswana in South Africa. Very interesting. I mean, they say you need to protect yourself. Questions arises here is like, how do you protect yourself by going out there in the world and creating military bases all across the world? I don't understand that. The USA has got 34 known military bases in Africa. Known. Not about the ones that are not known. Known. 34. What is that for? What is the other country that has so many military bases across the globe? I don't know. What's the purpose of that? My question is, okay, and Malema is mentioning here, we have a military base very close here, and this was an issue. It is an issue right now, because if America decides to attack South Africa, it's going to take a few minutes. They can land whatever plane aircraft from Botswana and hit South Africa very easily. And that's the question. Why so many military bases across the world? What is the issue? What is the goal? What do you want? Are you really defending yourself or are you trying to take over? That's the question people need to ask themselves. If many of you remember, there's English and French. My question is, what is French still doing on that passport? Can the EFF take this as a serious matter and find an African language on that? So South Africa has a passport, in South African passport, it is written in English and French. Yes. English and French. Now, this gentleman is asking, why is there English and French still in South African passport? What's the purpose of it? Thank you very much. I have not been paying t attention on the on the French uh, part. Yeah. Uh, but it's a very interesting point that we will take up uh, with the authorities. Okay. Then he had something else to say. Very interestingly, let's listen to him. What migration? Because there were no borders. Your problem is that you are saying you don't want colonialism, but you embrace the borders that were brought by colonialism here. Amen. There were no borders here. Mm -hmm. There have never been borders here. And that is it Berlin conference. Mm -hmm. It's not long time ago. It's traceable. The borders started then. The people will never leave their countries to your country if their economy it's and their thriving. government is working. Mm -hmm. Limpopo is very poor. There is no border between Gauteng and Limpopo. But Limpopo people have not left Limpopo to come to Gauteng. <laughs> Yet Gauteng has got more resources. Why can't they leave with Limpopo and come here? This, if these people wanted to come here, this fence was not going to stop them. And here he's talking about foreign African nationals who try to come to South Africa. And mostly Zimbabweans, you know, who try to cross and come to South Africa. They are coming to look for opportunities, and that's what we must encourage with all of you, especially the unemployed youth of South Africa. Let Africa be your playing ground. We were conditioned to think that we are superior and we are a country that is defined out of the continent. There are many countries in the continent that are doing so well. And they can use your skill and they use dollars, by the way, some to pay. Okay. Malema is encouraging the youth to go. Go ahead. Go. Be free minded. Open your mind. Open your skull. You know, look for opportunities across Africa. Don't limit yourself from where you are. Yes, we understand the situation here is good, talking about South Africa, but uh, you do not limit yourself in that way. The borders are just recent situation. When they came in Berlin, discussed on how to divide Africa, 
Each country of Europe was supposed to get a part, a little small portion of Africa. That's how they divided us into borders. Africa was just a big land where people used to move from one side to the other, go marry, from one side to the other, go visit, from one side to the other to go cooperate, go discuss, go build. But they created borders and put pe people into boxes inside those borders that they call countries. Now you Kenyan, you from Kenya. Kenya is limited for by this. Now you from Somalia. This is your little box of Somalia. Now you from Ghana. This little box of yours is called Ghana. Don't worry about what's happening. Out of, you know, this is a little box of yours is called Nigeria. This is where you're going to stay. Don't only worry about things that are happening in Nigeria. Do not look at things happening in Cameroon, in Congo. That's not in your business. But before that, that's not how Africa lived. Africans have moved from one side to the other for centuries. Yes, they lived in peace. Sometimes they had wars between themselves, but they lived in peace. But the story of borders were created by Europeans in Berlin. And Malema is pushing people to open their minds. The bottom line is when you take an airplane, you take an aircraft and you're flying. By the time you reach your border to another country, do you see the land that divides your country to the next country? You don't. Do you see the land that represents your border from your country to the other? It doesn't exist. The borders are imaginary. They don't exist. You just say it's from here to here. There is no line that separates people. And I'm not saying they should just open the border to just everybody and the criminals and stuff. That's a question for you. But I honestly believe Lujulis Malema has got a good idea. The idea is this. Why are they asking us to keep the borders? In the meantime, in Europe, there's no borders. So someone from France can go to Belgium with no visa. From Belgium, can go to Italy. From Italy to no visa, no issue, no problem. To Denmark, no difficulty. But they brought us borders and separation. The goal is to divide us so that they can rule. Listen. Okay. So our position didn't change. All right. I, I have no time for borders. Why? I have no time for colonialism. When you, how would you say to me, go and change French on the passport and then come at the same time and say, when yeah. I'm Leave the borders alone, but remove French. <laughs> Removing of French on the passport, it's part of decolonizing. South Africa. Yeah. So you can't speak in folk tongues. It has to be very clear. No one is going to come to our country. So my position is informed by that. Okay. And 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 someone says no, we won't vote you uh, 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 if you say such things. We won't vote for you. He's asking me to lie so that he can go around saying politicians lie. When I tell the truth, I won't vote for you. I must lie so that they can vote for me. <laughs> Julius Malema is very strong. He's scared of nobody. <laughs> all right. There were no borders, and we must all of us unite in that call. Yeah. Free movements of persons, free movements of goods will make this country flourish. We will even produce our own products. One thing that you South Africans undermine yourself with is that you are the America of Africa. If you are to produce anything here, Africa will receive it. So again, I can understand many people think they're very skeptical. They feel like opening the borders will also mean letting in not just the good people, but also the bad people. So the criminals, the drug dealers, the human traffickers, and so many other things. What do you think about it? I think in many countries, any countries you go, you're going to find good and bad people. Doesn't matter where you are from, where they are from. It's just a matter of you really looking very hard. If you look within your own community, you're going to find people that are really dangerous. Yes, you're going to find drug dealers. They are. You maybe don't pay attention to them because you focus on other people. They are drug dealers. They are human traffickers. There are many, many other things. Even if not that damn, other criminals in many other areas of life. So wouldn't it be good to focus on the good people and put the negative people regardless of their origin in jail? So the good people get the fruit and the bad people go to jail. But promoting unitedness, promoting unity, promoting a strong Africa. Let me know how you feel about this. Number one, tell me how you feel about the American base in Africa. Is this necessary? What's the goal of this? Number two, opening the borders of Africa, allowing free movement of people and goods and services. Will it be a good thing to unite Africa and push Africa forward? What are the dangers of that? Let me know how you feel about this. Don't go without leaving a comment. God bless.